Anyone ever told you that you give your power away? Man, I heard that a ton of times over the years, and I really didn't understand even what that meant. I thought, yeah, maybe I'm not playing at my maximum, that uh, I could be more effective, and I could be having more success if I focused. So therefore, I gotta put my power into to making more things happen. But actually giving your power away is a lot more literal than we realize when we understand that emotion is power. Emotion is power, so that when we allow ourselves to become emotional about a situation that someone else had created or that's happened with somebody else, then we are giving our power away. For example, blame. When we blame other people, and man, I blame, people did some heinous stuff in my life, and I want to blame them for that, for taking money, for messing up a car, uh, for ruining these plans, and I blame them for me not having whatever it was or for my situation being disrupted. When we blame other people for things that happen in our lives, as I found out myself, we actually are leaking out our power. We're just pushing our power right out the back door. Because emotion is power. It is a power source. Imagine the power that someone looks like they have when they're angry or super joyous. You see that person, wow, resonating with power. Emotion, on either way, is power. And when we blame somebody else for how we feel, we're giving our power away. We're saying, I have no control of my own life. You, partner, coworker, neighbor, have power over me. That power is making me feel like, ah, like crap, or sad, or upset, or annoyed, or screaming. We're even blaming the president as if he has any power over us. There is no elected official, no celebrity, no one in your own family that has any power over you. You are a sovereign being until you give your power away. And how do we do that? We let them affect our state. We let them waste our energy getting angry and upset about something that already happened. Yes, in the moment, am I going to get a little angry? Someone cuts me off and almost makes me crash? Yeah, but then I can let it go. I can release it. I don't need to be attached to it because it has no power over me. That person is not going to mess up my day. Someone is not going to determine whether I'm going to be a happy person and enjoying my life. It also works the opposite way. If we're trying to please other people by doing, spending extra energy, making sure they're happy, making sure everything's okay and set up, well, that's a nice intention. I wasted tons of energy trying to make sure everybody else was okay. Everybody was happy. You can't make everybody happy. You can't. You can work about yourself, being a good person, being a kind person. When I stop giving my power away, when I stop blaming other people for things that happened in my life, when I stop trying to make everybody else happy or fit into to a paradigm within society to be the perfect friend, the perfect son, the perfect actor, artist, business person, then I was free. You say, wait a minute, you have to fit in society and you have to make other people happy. That's just normal. No, no, you don't. You have to worry about your own heart. You can contribute to the well-being of others, but from a place of love, not trying to please people. And nobody, nobody has control over you. Nobody. Yes, there are certain situations someone could take a physical control, and I get that. But after that moment, it's over. They no longer have control over you. You are a sovereign, independent being, and realizing that is the first step towards reclaiming your power, bringing all that power in, and be able to focus it on your purpose, on whatever you are working to obtain or contribute to this life.